The first four years in the White House, Laura Bush sat in a stupor, <laughs> staring out into the middle distance, muttering to herself, oh, George, I don't know how we've ended up here. I want to go back to the ranch, smoke my Newports, wear my Birkenstocks, sit on chintz couches and chit-chat with my girlfriends. Honey, the second term came around and she busted out, marching into New York City like a grand diva goddess bitch, <laughs> hanging out with Oscar de la Renta in his atelier, wearing Carolina Herrera in coral, breezing through the park, enjoying the gates, the museums, the fine dining. I said, hold on a minute, sister. You take yourself and those two tube top wearing, taquito munching, beer and tequila swizzling, Texas longhorn hooking daughters and beat it. You are not welcome in our fair city where you pass judgment. You can't have it both ways. Go back to your people. Listen to Christian broadcast and enjoy a casserole. I can't believe this woman is as stupid as she pretends to be. It's bad enough that the men are so horrible and Machiavellian, but for the women to stand by, never has a first lady brought less to the table than our present woman. She is unbelievable. I mean, forget Eleanor Roosevelt or Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy, who brought in Pablo Casals to play in the White House with her gorgeous husband wearing Halston. I mean, it was OTT glamour. Pat Nixon in a good cloth coat brought more to the picnic than this broad. Now, we have a first lady who goes to Africa and tells the people to practice abstinence, that AIDS is an affliction. Honey, please, are those two daughters, are they practicing abstinence? I want to see their gynecological records because if they're not, they don't get any birth control. They don't get the morning after pill. And if they contract an STD, too fucking bad. You live by the sword, you die by the sword, you two show ponies. Don't you come to New York City during the election and throw shade at Bungalow 8. And then when it's over, you disappear again. You go join the fucking Peace Corps. You do something for mankind. You two ingrates, you lazy little slutty bitches. I wish you could see this picture. A small black child looking up in terror. Looking ahead, Laura Bush addressed a class called Passport to Manhood yesterday at the Boys and Girls Club in the Germantown section of Philadelphia. Mrs. Bush, who sat next to Bill Law, Lawton 14, plans to focus on the developmental needs of adolescent boys in her second term as first lady? This is rich. She couldn't pull together that coke whore alcoholic husband until he was 40. She thinks these kids are going to listen to her crazy ass. And she insists on going into the inner city to read to the children. Ooh, there comes that crazy white lady. 